Yo, what are you doing? Are you seriously considering that right now? <laughs> You're like your brother man's here to give you a hand. It might feel like this temptation is beyond what you can bear and that you're alone in this, but you're not. Not only am I here with you right now, but what's even better is that God is with you. <laughs> yeah. Maybe right now you have a burning desire to look at booty cheeks. Yeah. Maybe you're yearning to inhale that vile flavored Coca-Cola of yours. Maybe you're excited to lie to your own friend. Yeah. Maybe you're being tempted to gain vengeance on your enemies. Hit the burning cause. <laughs> Maybe you're eager to get a quick hit because it feels good to blow smoke out of your stinky mouth. Go brush your teeth. Maybe you want to stare at your phone looking at TikToks all day with your bent up neck. Maybe you're just being tempted to spend the rest of your day lying on that smelly old bed of yours just because you feel like a failure again. You think you're the only one going through these temptations? <sighs> Come on. No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. You're not the only one in the whole world that's going through these things. I myself have gone through many of these same struggles. I was down atrocious, yo. Your brothers and sisters in Christ go through the same struggles as you. So never think that you're alone. Never think that you're the only one going through these struggles, that these temptations are hopeless. We all go through these struggles as Christians. So be encouraged that you're not alone in this. Oh, so you're still being tempted to indulge in pure wickedness and immorality? <laughs> Look, Reflect on the past. Tell me one time in your life where you were actually fulfilled and happy after giving in to a temptation. Oh, oh, crickets? Yeah, that's what I thought. If every time that you fell into sin, you feel like a horse's hot doo doo, then why do you still want to do that sin? If every time you feel shameful, you feel like a loser, you feel worthless after you sin, then why do you still want to do that sin? Temptations are just fickle emotions. You can either fall into each of their whims and be controlled by them, or you can see them as they truly are. Do not let your heart be deceived by sin. It's lies. It tells you that it's the easiest way out and that you'll be all the better for it and that it will feel good, but you know from past experiences that it's just all a bunch of Naxiotis, Tauruses, which means it's all a bunch of bull crabs. <laughs> but I've been tempted for so long, I can't hold out. <laughs> God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. You don't believe it? You think these temptations are too strong? You think there's no hope? That, that you're too weak? That these temptations will keep going on and on? They won't stop? I was actually tempted for hours and hours one time and I still didn't give in. You can actually survive a lot longer than you think. God is faithful. He always provides a way out. God remains the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So trust these promises and not the lies of sin. Remember, watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Therefore, with minds that are alert and fully sober, set your hope on the grace to be brought to you when Jesus Christ is revealed at his coming. As obedient children, do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance. But just as he who called you was holy, so be holy in all you do. No one who puts a hand to the plow and looks back is fit for service in the kingdom of God. If you're still being tempted, stop looking back and giving into the flesh. When will you be free from these old sins? Why not make today the day to start? Why not say no to temptation and claim victory over it? The Lord is with me. He is my helper. I look in triumph on my enemies. I was pushed back and about to fall, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. Shouts of joy and victory resound in the tents of the righteous. Say no to that temptation and celebrate in victory. Remember that going back into that sin, falling into that temptation again, is like spitting on the cross and, and all of what Jesus has done for you out of his love for you. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that encouraged you to, to step away from this temptation. But if you're still being tempted, maybe read your Bible, go pray right now, go outside, do some exercise. And also check out this video right here. I think it might help. But that's it for me. Just remember, if anyone then knows the good they ought to do, but doesn't do it, it is sin for them. <laughs>